Hey everybody, welcome back to Dry Dock. I'm Brian, your host, and this is episode four of the Jeff Appreciation Bill. And we are building the P51D Mustang 124th scale by Airfix. Yeah, that's what the box says. <laughs> um, I'd like to say major progress just be this week, just on the premise that detailing with paint can be very time consuming as a lot of you know so yeah it um, worked more on the stuff that goes inside the fuselage which you will never ever see again inquiring minds want to know is Jeff worth all this extra work I could have just slap the two sides together and no one ever would have been the wiser. Amazing what we do for the, th the, the things and the people we... I'm not going to use that word. <laughs> anyway, so, um, another week in the books. Um, we're making good progress, like I said. So let's just spin this bad boy around and show you how much we got done. What the hell, Bones? At least you got good taste. That is one grassy field of bone sitting there. <laughs> okay, making progress. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to zoom in, but he's all he's not glued to his seat, but he's not coming out of there. But everything else is glued in. I'll see if I can zoom in here. Oops. His hand is on the joystick. So, we succeeded in getting that out right. So he's got kind of a cool, cool look about him. Now, there is a ton of stuff that goes in the fuselage of this thing. So we'll get to that next and we'll show you what it's got. So, like we had talked in previous videos about putting the engine in the fuselage with the exhaust ports glued on and making it so that the engine's actually in there. Um, there is so much that goes inside this fuselage that the more you add in there that you have to get lined up just perfect, the more difficult it is to get it shut <laughs> and glued together. That is not an excuse, but that's a reality. Um, but I did figure out that without the engine in there, this cowling here slides inside and the shaft from the propeller goes through and into that so you glue the shaft to this but this not to this so this just slides in the shaft slides in and this is the thing that spins so yeah and I have that put together it's not glued or anything but I just have it mocked up like so so this would t this would glue on to the engine but that's not the case so that little um, piece right there a little tab that's the middle of a fuselage so you glue one side up to this side of the fuselage and glue the other side of the fuselage up to that and that's what lines it up but yeah that's a big prop <laughs> all right let's show you what what else we've got going on okay so you got i don't know what this box is but you got this bad boy here that goes behind the cockpit uh seat actually and down 
on the bottom. So, there's that piece. So there's that piece we were just talking about. It goes there. There's the cockpit seat. Then you have this gizmo. I'm not sure exactly what that all is. But that winds up sitting up here. And these two guys on here, which is the battery, and I'm not sure what that is. That is. But that sits on top of this. That is all that stuff. So... You glue that piece on first, and then this attaches to the inside wall of the fuselage right above it. Sits like that. So all that's got to go in. Then we have... I lost my pointer. Oops. Got it. Okay. Then we have... They start the rear landing gear. That has to get put together. There's a couple other parts I think go with the landing gear. Part of the tail has to go on before you put the two halves together. Um, this has to go on. I'm not sure what this stuff is exactly, but I'll show, the, show you the overall um, blow up on the instructions here and you can kind of see where this stuff goes. Now you can see how they have it attached to the engine. They want you to wait slide that all in there sideways. So all this stuff has got to go on this side. There's a couple things that go on the other side. There's another side of the cockpit that was like this one over here. Gets on this side. There's a couple things that go over on the this side here. But then you've got all this little stuff. I don't know if that's an, an air intake of some sort that goes down there. Then you have all this um, bracing and stuff for the rear um landing gear. There's the tail piece. I'm not sure what exactly that is. But, yeah. So all this stuff has to get in here. And then you have to try to make sure you line everything up when you squeeze it together and glue it together. Yeah. And way back when, when they talked about putting these side panels on, you notice that they don't have them on here. Even though they told you in the beginning that you needed to put them on there. Which turns out was an option. If you didn't, if you wanted, if you wanted to put the engine in, you had to leave those off. If you don't want to put the engine in, you glue them in. They really didn't explain that too well in the beginning. But that's where we're at. This is what I'm working on. So all this stuff has got to get painted up, put together, glued together. There's a lot going on here. So we'll get back at it. Here is that other side of the cockpit. A lot of detail in there. I may, um, it just says to paint it the same color, that interior green. Like the other side, I'm not going to do just that. I'm going to add some color to this thing. So, alright. Lots to do, lots to do, lots to do. So let's get at it. Okay. Got everything all nice and painted up. And yeah, I went overboard. Just for Jeff. Painted up the wires. Copper one you can barely see down in there. Painted the strap. Yeah. Painted the hoses on this thing. So this will sit something along those lines right there. So, yeah. You're never going to see any of this, so enjoy it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I got that thing painted up. Then I got the other um, instrument panel for the other side of the cockpit done. I don't have that glued in there yet. But there it is. I also want to look crazy with that. That you might see. So, yeah. 
That turned out all right. So that's where we're at. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll see what we get done in the morning before we kick this thing out. So, yeah, that, that took pretty much all day to detail them up. So, my shoulders are sore, my neck is sore, my back is sore. Time to color quits. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, we're playing with the rear um, landing gear. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. And, as you can see, it spins. Then, if you take this little guy, there was actually... He glued those two halves together and stuck the... I'm going to call it the axle in there, so it spins. So there's three pieces. There's two pieces to this. There's an insert for that little hole. Here's the... Here's the back side. And then you got, they actually gave you a rubber, rubber tires. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. And the detail on this thing is crazy business. So, yeah, this kit's pretty detailed. I like it. And there's hinges on the, um, tail, whatever you call the thing that flips back and forth. Um, I don't know. I have to talk to a pilot. It's not an aileron. I don't know what it would be considered, what they call that, the tail piece. But yeah, there's hinges on that, so that moves. So it'll be interesting to see what else I run into as I'm going along as to what else moves. So we'll get this painted up. It's probably about one o'clock in the afternoon Friday, so at some point I got to stop. We'll probably get this painted up. The other thing I was going to ask you guys. Now, if you've been following me for a while. I showed the color scheme I want for the plane. And the nose of the plane. Back past the exhaust. Is going to be a. Well, it's Tamiya X13, which is a metallic blue and then it'll fade across the uh, spine of the back of the plane and then it'll fade I'll, you'll spray the um, from the front of the um, tail back so that fades you do the same on the wing fronts and you fade those back the question I have and then the rest of the pl rest of the plane will be silver the question I have is these are black but should I paint the entire nose cone blue? Or should I paint this blue and this silver? Haven't made up my mind yet. So, yeah. Figure just ask the community and see what, see what you guys think. Alright, I gotta get to painting that. If I have time, that's why I was kind of asking. Because if I had time, I was going to paint this too. But I gotta wait. Alrighty then. Here we be. Spins. Spins. Yeah. Paint really brings out the detail even more. Oops. Just not sure. This is supposed to be straight up and down. It doesn't want to stay that way. But we'll get her. It's not bad. I like the fact that they give you real rubber tires. I'm not sure how to get that. You can't sand rubber. At least not that I'm aware of. That seam right down the middle of the tire. How you get that off there? I tried scraping it with my knife, I tried sanding it, and it's, it remains. So, yeah. Alright. Let's go play with the All tail. Right. There's the, the tail. Rudder. I guess for lack of a better term. And you can see these hinges. I don't know if I can get this to do this without...
that's how it's supposed to work so once you pinch that in there the um, tail will turn I haven't done a kit where they've had this many moving parts that's kind of cool maybe it was worth the hundred and six bucks <laughs> once I get done with it we'll see got some more pieces glued in I don't know if you're going to be able to see that behind them or not. There's a canopy that goes over them, so who knows? Maybe. It's possible. Possible, possible, possible. So, yeah. That turned out all right. <sighs> yes, nothing like a little bit of an accomplishment to get make a guy feel a little bit better every week. Um, I think it's turning out all right. Like I said, it's, it's sad that all that work you're never going to see again. Although, like I mentioned in the video, where that battery is and stuff, the canopy sits up there, so I'm not sure just exactly what goes above that, if the canopy stretches that far. So you might actually see that. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Finally in the 50s around here. Candy is, um, I probably see her maybe an hour and a half a night and Sundays. Other than that, tax time, she's, yeah. What did she put in last week? 60 some hours, I think, or more. So, 12 hours yesterday. And she's got to work again tomorrow. She's hoping not all day, but she put in eight hours last Saturday, so I'm assuming it'll be similar. But anyway, enough rambling. I appreciate all my new subscribers that have popped in to say hi and, and hit the old sub and like button. Um, I do have some old shop cards still. Um, if you notice, my icon is different now than what it used to be way back when. It's a picture of the Arizona in the, um, in the dry dock. That's going to be my new shop card when I get around to making it. Um, I got other expenses right now, so I'm not going to jump on that. Plus, I have cards. So if anybody wants a, um, a shop card from me, um, I'll leave my email address right down here. Or I can put it in the description or both. And um, shoot me a note, and I'll send you off one. All right, everybody. You guys have a great week. Uh, spring is finally here. Enjoy it, and we will see you next week. Bye.